So right now we're in Williams, Arizona, and I know our logo has train tracks on it, yet we've never been on a train on this channel. Well, all that changes today. We're going to be taking the Grand Canyon Railroad from here in Williams to the Grand Canyon. And this is also the coldest video we've ever filmed. It is 19 degrees out right now. It is freezing cold out. Um, yeah, this from being from Southern California, this is definitely not something we're used to. Uh, so please bear with us. Hopefully we'll be getting on the train here in just a few minutes. They have a Wild West show going on uh, behind me right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll be taking the train to the Grand Canyon today. Um, we've read mixed reviews of it online. Uh, a lot of people say just drive to the Grand Canyon. Well, we've driven there plenty of times. Uh, so we want to try something different today. So we're going to be taking the train. We'll let you know how it goes. Uh, we are taking coach on the way there. And we're going to be taking observation dome on the way back to get a different perspective of two different classes on the train. So uh, let's go and hopefully enjoy the train. And there's some shooting from the Wild West show. The train has just arrived. Hopefully it is heated inside. Here's a little bit of the Wild West show. Alright, we're about to board the train and this is the first time we've ever been to the Grand Canyon in winter so we're kind of excited to see that, kind of excited to see snow on the ground, but let's take a look at the inside of the train. And here's what it looks like on the coach car. It's not very full on this trip, but I imagine in the summer, these things can get packed. And for your convenience, whatever we're going to take our own train today, we do sell coffee, hot chocolate, soft drinks, a variety of snack food items, sandwiches, beer, wine, and ice cream. Alright, so we're underway, and happy to report it is heated in here, so the feeling has returned to my hands. And right now we have some uh, musical entertainment on the train. So for a little bit of history on the Grand Canyon Railway, trains have been heading to the Grand Canyon for well over a hundred years. The railroad line from Williams to the Grand Canyon was built by the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railway and was completed in September 1901. The train led to increased tourism at the Grand Canyon and directly led to the creation of Grand Canyon Village and the El Tovar Hotel, a Harvey house that was built in 1905. Eventually, however, most people began traveling to the Grand Canyon by car, and the train saw less and less use. The last passenger train traveled to the Grand Canyon in July 1968, and that last train only carried three passengers on it. Freight service on the line ended in 1974. Private investors purchased the railroad line in 1988, restored the facilities, and began running passenger trains again on September 17, 1989. In an interesting turn of events, in 2006, the Grand Canyon Railway was sold to Zantara Parks and Resorts, which is the corporate name and identity for what was originally known as the Fred Harvey Company. So they do give out free water and coach, but any other snacks you do have to buy, there is a cafe cart where you can buy snacks from, including beer and wine. In some of the other classes, you do get free snacks. Alongside the tracks, you can see a lot of the old telegraph poles that allowed the Grand Canyon to communicate with the rest of the world in the early 1900s. A lot of these poles even still have the old glass insulators on them. As we approach the Grand Canyon Station, we get our first brief glimpse of the Grand Canyon itself. Wow. 
So we made it to the Grand Canyon. It was a pretty nice ride up here. Uh, the coach class isn't bad at all. Um, it was comfortable seats, uh, nice and heated in there. Like I said, my hands were ice blocks uh, when we first got in the car. And uh, we had a, there was a person in the car with us that was giving a talk pretty much the entire time, pointing things out and giving a lot of information on the trip and also on the Grand Canyon itself. So now we're here at the Grand Canyon, so we're gonna look around here and then we'll be back on the train in a few hours and we're gonna be in the observation dome on the way back. And here's a look back at the train. We were in the very first coach car that was right behind the engine, uh, but here's the whole train so you can see quite a few cars on this thing. And here's the Grand Canyon Depot. The Grand Canyon Depot was constructed in 1909 for the railroad it is one of the only three remaining railroad depots in the United States that use logs as the primary construction material. The station is only about 100 meters from the rim of the Grand Canyon itself. The interior of the station comprises of four main rooms. A ticket office waiting room, an agent's office, a parcel storage room, and a baggage room. The upstairs has a small apartment for the station agent, which unfortunately we weren't able to see on this trip. So we've made it to the Grand Canyon. No matter how many times we've been here, it never gets any less beautiful. I mentioned this is the first time we've been to the Grand Canyon in the winter, so it's pretty crazy to see all the snow. But there is ice everywhere. It's really slippery walking around here. One advantage of being here in the winter time versus the summertime is there is far less people. It's still pretty crowded, but there's much less people than we've normally seen at the Grand Canyon. Once the train arrives at the Grand Canyon, you get about three hours at the canyon before you have to get back on the train to go back, which is plenty of time to grab a bite to eat, do some souvenir shopping, and of course check out the Grand Canyon, maybe take a small hike. You can also take the train one way and stay the night here at the Grand Canyon, and then take it back the next day or a few days later. This raven is unfortunately the only wildlife we've seen at the Grand Canyon so far, though we did see some deer on the train ride up here. All right, so that ends our time at the Grand Canyon. We're heading back to the train right now, and our car is this one right here. And so we'll see how it compares to the coach class that we rode up to the Grand Canyon. So let's check it out. And here we are going into the observation dome. As you can see, it's on the second floor, and there are 360 degrees of windows. All right, so we're in the observation dome. It is a lot more comfy up here, and we got windows all around us, including some cool ones in the front. And also with the observation dome seats comes free snacks. And here's one last brief look at the Grand Canyon as we make our way back to Williams. We're getting some more music for the ride back. The singer's name is Tater and he is really good. Our guide on the train is saying that the mountains off in the distance look like an Indian that is laying down and was somehow referenced in the movie Cars. 
I don't remember it in the movie, but if you do remember it or know what he's talking about, let me know in the comments. Oh, it looks like those bandits from this morning's Wild West show are back, and they're gonna rob the train. Come with this here's a robbery. Pocket money, fold money, jewelry, diamond rings, gold teeth. And I'm like, cook. Do not give me your kids. I'm not going to feed any of them. Look at me, Sam, let's go! Look at me, Sam! Hold this. <laughs> Damn, guess I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hold on. Take my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have enough room to take the wife right now. We'll come back for her later. <laughs> well, it's about 4.30 p.m. and we've just about made it back to Williams, Arizona. So we've made it back to Williams, and it was definitely a really fun trip. Uh, highly recommend taking the Grand Canyon Railway to the Grand Canyon if you've never done it before. We read a lot of reviews online that said just to go ahead and drive, don't bother with the train. Yeah, if you've never been to the Grand Canyon before, you probably do want to drive up there. Just so you can see a little bit more, you can go from point to point driving around while taking the train, you're kind of limited in where you can go. But if you've been before and you only have a day, uh, definitely you might want to take the train up there. It is a pretty relaxing trip. It definitely beats dealing with the traffic in the Grand Canyon. And at this time of year, it's pretty icy. We, you know, we don't have chains for our car, so we didn't have to deal with that either by taking the train up there. So, um, highly recommend taking the train. Now, as far as the difference between coach and observation dome, observation dome costs three times what coach did. I'm not sure you get three times the value. You can pretty much see the same stuff from the coach as the observation dome. You do get a little bit more of a view from the observation dome, but not three times the price view. And there are free snacks on the observation dome, but those are like Cokes, uh, chips, cookies, stuff like that. Probably not three times the price of the uh, coach tickets worth of snacks either. They did serve champagne as well, but still, uh, your mileage may vary uh, on what's important to you, but I think if we were to do it again, we would just take the coach uh, both ways to go up there. So that's our look at the Grand Canyon Railroad. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.